Hello everybody, I am Mold West, and this is Fable once again. Why don't I have my sword? Where is my sword? I'm supposed to have a sword equipped. I am just now realizing my sword is not on my back. Wield that sword, there it is. Now then, it's off to the guild, because there's a guy who I need to be talking to who's outside on the boasting platform, according to what guild man says. And from this point on, is all new to me. And I'm glad I didn't have to sit through a lengthy credit sequence. Hey, all of the quests are back. Yeah, I can do those now. But, like I was saying... Do I have the experience I need to level up? Yeah, I can bring up my accuracy. That's good, but anyway! What I'm trying to say is, in the original game, after you beat Jack of Blades and then go through the ending right there, it there's like a very long credit sequence that you have to sit through, and then you get to run around freely in post-game world. But, if you skip the credits, it just throws you back to before you fight Jack of Blades. Many have died. Uh, I believe these creatures are known as summoners. Are you safe? My mission here has failed. Mm -hmm. I will attempt to stop their passage. To what happened to your lips? But I require assistance. Uh, the strongest among you must open the primal demon door close to this podium. It primal holds demon the fire door. heart. The fire heart? Only the chosen one will gain audience with the prophets. Okay. Use the heart to call the ship of the drowned. Hurry before all is lost. Well, all right then. And he's been hit. Scythe? Uh, Scythe! We've lost him. Scorn. The demon uh, door awoke this morning, but none of us could get through. It says we're not worthy. All right, it is then. up to you, hero. Have you defeated Jack single-handedly? If it will not open for you. The man's got a point. Mm -hmm. I'll stick to my speciality and hit the books. We need to know what these summoners are. Good luck. All right, then. So, Scorm, is that the, the skeleton-looking guy that killed Scythe over there? And I do remember there was this door here that looked like a demon door without a face. But I never could figure out what it was until now. Because you it's a thing. the mask of Jack of Blades. Uh, the prophets had foreseen the coming of such a legend among heroes. You don't the say. The rise of the summoners in the northern wastes marks the arrival of a new threat to all things. That's my neck. We have long dreaded this portrait. I got Behind a nice neck. Behind my walls lies the fire heart. There, you will speak to the prophets who watch over it. All right. You may enter now, but beware the beating of the heart. It has burned many before you. Well, perhaps I won't be burned by this heart. Well, here we go. And like I said, in the original game, that door wasn't a thing. Oh god, this is a puzzle, isn't it? We are the prophets of the Fireheart. Alright. It was your destiny to seek us out, hero. Yeah. The beast arises in the frozen north. Only he who claims the heart can stop it. Uh, its listening. mystical powers will guide you across the sea. There you must face a force of such evil. Not even death can silence its fury. Hmm. Over crying out loud, just tell him to get us out of here. <laughs> yes, yes, we were coming to that. To obtain the fire heart, you must solve the mystery of day and night. So do I just step on these and buttons? And we'll finally be free. Witness yeah. the board before you. Each time you turn all the moons into suns, you'll release one of us from our perpetual prison. Okay, so it is a puzzle. But fill the board with moons and one of us will perish. And the fire heart will never be yours. All right. What? I thought you said he'd get it even if he gets us all killed. I heard you. So I have a choice here. Quiet, you imbecile. Don't Look, want me taking the easy way out, do you? Solve the damn puzzle. You get the heart, we get out of this hole. Everyone's happy, all right? But if I make the wrong move and end up killing you all, that would be bad. But I'd still get the fire heart. For each poverty, you must food. Convert all the moon signs into sun signs by walking on them. 
turning all the squares into moon signs will result in the prophet's death and will also solve the puzzle. Fire art erupts into a powerful flame with every beat of its pulse. If you don't complete the puzzle before the time is that, you will be scorched. Okay. Why wasn't this one turned? It was supposed to be turned when I started walking, but it wasn't. But there. I got the puzzle! It was a simple puzzle. All them be sons. Use the fire heart wisely. All right. So you are free. Do I have to solve it again? I hope yep. I get out to moon to sun. Yep. That's good. Now this shouldn't be too hard. Sunny. Sunny. It's not a terrible puzzle. Not terribly hard. Not terribly easy. And if I can just do what I'm doing right here, that actually makes it easy because I'm actually able to just walk back oh, and forth over these things. What's happening? The light is so beautiful. M Mother, I'm coming. See ya. Freedom. Freedom for the guy. Excellent. Goodbye. Just free me next. You can do what you like. That's the one. Now keep going. Yeah, keep your mouth shut. I'll free you eventually. I'm working on it. The freedom will come, just you wait. This puzzle requires surprisingly little thought, unless you're just trying to get through as fast as possible. That's it, that's it, nearly there. There we go. Yes, freedom at last in your face, eternal confinement. Yep, someone's happy to be out of here. You now, are wise and benevolent, hero. Now for the last dude. At least I assume he's the last dude. Now I'm just gonna... Ah, a noble yep. move. Yep, do some of this. There we go. That's the way. That is the way to do this thing. Now I turn you, and then I turn you. You are a true gentleman. There we go. Freedom I shall join for my you. Fellow prophets now. Cheerio. Cheerio indeed. Bye bye, prophet. Good. Just don't mess it up. Alright, so That's this it. is the last Sun one. Signs. Now get on with it. I'm getting on with it. You don't gotta be such a dick. You realize I could turn them all to moons on purpose and fry your sorry ass. You don't gotta go screaming at me. If someone's here to help you, you don't yell at the help. There, you're free. Uh, you're not too bad, you know. Uh, I'll send you a postcard sometime. I'm gonna hold you to that. I like postcards. That's all of them. They are free. And the fire heart now belongs to me. So do I just carry it around? Am I gonna need oven mitts? This thing looks really hot. Or is it just gonna get absorbed into my neck hole? Fire heart, a gem of awe-inspiring beauty and mystical powers. Well, I did it. I got the fire heart. You have the fire heart? Yes, I do. Excellent. I knew you'd be able to do it. I bet those prophets were a barrel of laughs too. You always get to do the fun stuff. Perks of being the main character. Well, I've been looking into these summoner creatures and I'm starting to think throwing away the Sword of Eons wasn't the best idea after all. I got my own these sword, it's fine. These things are bad. Too late to do anything now, though. Hmm, perhaps not. Huh? Well, it's only an old legend, but for centuries, there have been tales of a powerful weapon hidden in the guild. And I'm listening. with the essence of all the heroes buried there. But the only one who's shown any real interest in it lately is Maze. He and was obsessed dead. with finding it. We know why now, of course. Perhaps you can find whatever he discovered in his old quarters. Yeah. But don't forget, it is vital that you place the Fireheart in the Hook Coast Lighthouse. Fireheart Hook Coast Lighthouse, gotcha. will send gotcha. the ship to take you to the Northern Wastes. All right. Good luck once more, hero. Yeah! Now then, let's go do that. Fireheart Band. That's my trophy here. Just that square thing rotating there. Well, let's go jump all up inside Maze's Quarters. Hello, Maze's Quarters. Am I going to find Maze's ghost or his zombie up in here? Please tell me that is the case, because it might be help. First entry, re references to Avo's tear. 
are hard to come by, but I won't give up. If I could wield its power in my hands, everything could be different. I would be able to stop him myself, or at least hand it to someone with the courage to face him. A history of the guild, okay. Second entry today, I found the best description of the legend of Avo's Tear. Yet, it was in, in an appendix to a rare edition of a history of the guild and describes how the sword was created. Unfortunately, there is no mention of where it might be hidden. Third entry, at last, I have found a tattered scroll with the location of Avo's Tear. Retrieving it would be simpler. One need only read the inscription on the empty grave in the, here, in the guild courtyard and think of the weapon to be judged by the old heroes. I can only hope they see my true intents and find me deserving. Fourth entry, it didn't work. I am forever in his grasp. Well, shit. Sucks to be you, Maze. Now, the, it said something about a grave in the guild courtyard. Here are buried the remains of Solcius, the legendary maze, who sacrificed his own life while performing his greatest spell, closing a vortex that threatened to engulf Bowerstone. Now... Hold on, I need to go back and read that thing again. So, because I don't remember exactly what it said, because I have so terrible short-term memory. Assuming I can... Well, I found a book called Jack of Blades, which does not help me at all. So, yeah. Maybe this green circle on the mini-map? Maybe that's where I gotta go. Because... Uh, ooh, this thing. This grave awaits a hero worthy of joining the legends who lie here. Ah, there it is. that you are pure of heart and have sacrificed ultimate power for the good of our Yes, yes I did. We judge you worthy hero. May Arvo's tear burn through the forces of evil in your hands. Neat. So now, I got yet another new sword. Arvo's tear. This sword was imbued with extraordinary power when the when the great guild mage Solcius used it in a spell to close a large vortex. For a long time, it has existed only as a myth among acolytes. Its strength rivals even the Sword of Aeons. And yes, it is stronger than the sword I got. Yes, and it seems to have the exact same augmentation as the Sword of Aeons did. Yoink! Nice! And it's not all red and black and evil looking either. Well, got that sword. So let's go put it to use. To the hook coast to jam that fire heart all up inside that lighthouse. I'd like to see you again. Hello, oh, guard. Hero, I've been expecting you. And as you can see, the town's been evacuated, just like the guildmaster asked. Okay. Must be something serious, eh? Well, it wasn't easy getting everyone out on such short notice, but us guards know our duty. Well, I could tell you some stories I could. Well, you sound like a good but, cop. sir, uh, you probably don't want to hear them right now. I'll just leave it to you, sir. Good day. We could really use some cops like that in this world. The kind that don't abuse their power, murder innocent people, and get away with it. You know what I'm talking about. Of course, there are some good cops in the world, but there's... Also, a lot of bad ones, too. That's all I'm gonna say on that matter. This channel's supposed to be a fun place where people can escape from the real situ- Like, real issues. A place where they can laugh and have fun and not have to worry about politics or police brutality or anything like that. Also, I just don't like talking about politics. And I- And I know the police ain't politics. Or are they? I don't fucking know. I don't know shit about politics. Here's the fire heart. Ah! Is the fire it just shot in me in the face. Good. Meet me downstairs. The fuck you doing here, lady? I thought According I was doing this on my books, own. The ship should arrive as soon as the heart's energy reaches full power. And when would that be? I just what saw something hell? flying up in there. Ah! A summoner. It's trying to destroy the heart. We have to. We have to protect it. No shit. So let's go stop Come that on, we have to stop summoner. It before it destroys the fire heart. 
Kill Summoner Man! You! You! Why did I just get. Okay. You over there with your magic and shit knocking me flat on my ass without any real effort, you cheating son of a bitch! Ow! He died, but he falls down and explode on me. His final fuck. The heart needs more time to power up. Oh, goddammit. Gotta stop the summoners! So what exactly are they summoning? Are those like, it's like the exact opposite of the fire heart? Made of ice. Ice heart. We're dealing with an ice heart thrower here. Alright lady, you distract these little guys. I'm gonna run around and get the big important guy. Distract them by getting your face smashed in. I will deal with the guy who needs to be stopped. That's my strategy. Ow. He exploded the ground on me. That's just great. These guys are actually tough and they know what they do and they know how to fight. And he's down for the count. Now let's go get the other one. I just need Lady Man McLady over there to keep these guys off of me back for a little bit while we go whipping the ass off this guy. Now, take a that. I notice you are doing very little to defend yourself here, Summoner. There we go, Summoner down. Boom! Goes the dynamite. Boom goes all the minions, too. The heart has reached its power. And now things are happening. Here's your ride. Looks, uh, cozy. That's when you get to the Northern Wastes, your guild seal will activate the local teleporters, and I'll be able to join you. All right, then. Scythe would have done it long ago, but he destroyed his seal before he arrived. <laughs> Didn't want Maze to know what he was up to, I guess. That makes well, sense. Well, have a nice trip. Maybe when I see you next, we can have a snowball fight. Lady, I'll throw a snowball hard enough to knock your head clean off your shoulders. The strange, silent ship set sail into the featureless swell. Day after day, it carved its path among the waves, an ocean phantom moving ever forward. Then the moment came when icy peaks speared out of the horizon mist. These were the shores of the Lost Bay. The northern wastes lay beyond them. So is this like basically what would be a big DLC for, a, for like an Elder Scrolls game, sort of? Or is this just one big quest? Or just one quest? One sole single quest here? What's happening? I have a beard! Welcome oh, hello. Welcome to the Northern Wastes, Guildsman. I had feared you lost. Yep, I'm I here, though. I am Scythe, though my name has long been forgotten in the guild. May so to that. I'm guessing Maze is an asshole then. My apologies for not meeting you in person. I must remain in Snowspire Village and protect it from summoners. All right. Terrible though they are, they are but a symptom of a much greater power rising in these lands. Well, all right then. Meet me in Snowspire in the far north. I will explain everything. And then we must consult the town's ancient oracle. Okay, I then. I pray we can awaken it, and that it holds the answers we seek. The way this is set up looks more than just a one You've quest. You've received a new quest card. Because this is like a, like a, looks like a whole new place here. Just a, Hey, a, the teleporters are up and running. Uh, nice one. Stop We're talking. have a look around after speaking to Sai. Catch you later. Yeah, shut up, lady. But like I'm saying, this looks like it would, like a whole new map tacked onto the game. Like the sort of DLC thing an Elder Scrolls game would do. That is what I'm trying to say here. I did not know they added this much, or if this is just one quest, but whatever the case may be, I'll figure that out in the next episode, because I'm all out of time for this one, so thank you all so much for
one. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Goodbye!